I'm just opening the app so I know how to tell you what to do. Oh, yeah, this is what I always wanted. This is a salt grinder. Oh, tw 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 what, 12 99 for what? For just an empty salt grinder? Mm -mm. Not this year. So I had my little bottle here from 19 how long waiting to put some Tide Pods in there and I cannot remember for anything to buy it so I finally bought it today. Um, usually don't really wash with Tide Pods but yeah it's cute or whatever and it's there as like a backup in case you run out of your, your detergent you can always um go for a, a pod so yeah i think we needed another um container though another bag it needs a little bit more in here so one more bag would be fine yeah, it definitely need more one more bag but i mean it's a start mm -hmm. And I guess while we're at it, we might as well do a cleaning haul because <laughs> apparently I bought um, mainly cleaning stuff. Clorox bleach. Of course, you know, you can't do it without your Clorox. And this is the toilet bowl cleaner. Same Clorox brand. Usually I um, switch up the, the brands for this. I'm not really sold to any particular brand, but... Um, just I just grabbed whatever was cheapest at the time and this had a, a better value because there was two in the pack for three dollars and some change so I grabbed that all right what else by way of cleaning I got my fabric softener again the fabric softener that I like I don't know if it's no longer on the market it's um it's actually downy but it's in a particular it's in a gray bottle but I only used it a couple of times and then all of a sudden it's no longer available on the market. But that was my all-time favorite. It, it, it was in one of those small gray bottles. But I can't find it no more, so I don't know. So now I'm on to gain. If you guys have a favorite fabric softener that is good, let me know. And I'm not really um, a person that loves this overly sweet smell that's not what I I like you know fresh clean scents rain um, powdery that those are my um, type of fragrances so I don't really go for the the floral overly sweet um, scents. so if you know anything in that line that you can recommend I would appreciate it and then this is um, a bowl tablet that works amazing two packs clean for eight months they actually make the toilet bowl smells super duper fresh and of course my long time all time scrubbing bubbles fresh gel oh I picked up the wrong one yeah I picked up the wrong one this is not the one that I like 
the floral fusion is not the one that I, I've never ever bought any of these um with the specialized flavors I just normally stick to the basic one but or maybe I should just try it and see you never know you never know yeah so I guess this is my little haul if I find something else then I'll show you guys but this is my little cleaning haul and yeah 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 and guys i am in the process of making these little gift bags and you would not believe what is being placed in the bags pretty simple basic some tea bags yes we saw this um being sold these uh container with teas and the tea is called christmas morning mm -hmm. and it's a combination of a black tea and green jasmine tea i believe i don't know it's, it's it's one of those combo two different types of tea in the the pack in the sachet and so we bought the container it had a ton of i always overdo it by saying a ton but it had a lot in the pack and immediately the thought you know came to mind um to do these little small tiny you know gift packages for lack of a better word mm -hmm. and then just give them out to whomever you know we chose maybe a church or maybe my clients you know i don't know how it's gonna go yet but i'm just utilizing all of the tea to make these gift packages yeah and i just got these these little bags they come in a pack from walmart and it's just a clear bag and it actually is perfect for this based on the size yeah so i'm just putting initially about 10 uh package of tea in each gift bag And guys, sometimes you would be surprised to know that it's not, you know, the, the amount of money that you spend on a gift that makes it special, but it's just the thought that counts. Um, just the mere fact that you are sharing something with someone or someone is receiving something that they didn't expect, you know, it, it really does make a difference. So do not hesitate, you know, because you feel like you don't have you know, a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or twenty dollars, you know, the small things do count. If it was this bag with some candy canes, it's still a gift. I mean, it's just a thought behind it that really makes the difference. So yeah, but I thought it was really cute that the tea was called Christmas morning. So the thought is that we would give them before Christmas and then people hopefully would have them <laughs> on Christmas morning. Or during the Christmas season at least all right so the package with these little bags they actually come with a little twine so I use that to secure the mouth of the bag and then I purchased a roll of these silver ribbon so I'm tying those I'm tying the ribbon around just to make it look a little bit fancy and like you put some thought into it and it just didn't you know throw something together so you know you have to make the package look pretty because it's Christmas if I was thinking I would have gotten some cards you know those little Christmas looking tags yeah I should have gotten some of those but I didn't but it will work nevertheless Okay, and so to make the ribbon look a little bit fancy, you just take a sharp edge and you slide it all the way along the length of the ribbon and it will immediately curl. Yeah, look at that. Cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and make packages with all of the tea and yeah.
all right guys so now moving on to creating a gift basket yes using this holiday tin can and I'm just using some foil um, shredded foil I think it's called shredded foil in this psychedelic um, color as the filling just to give it a nice cushion for the items and this I picked up at Walmart it was very inexpensive I believe it was under a dollar for each pack yeah you just want to fluff it up a little bit you know yeah mm -hmm. all right and so we are using guys and this is how it gets very inexpensive we're using all food items and these are foods that are um traditionally from jamaica yes from our homeland in jam down yes so we just went ahead and got some random jamaican um foods snacks and drinks and we have a little bit of of course you have to have jerk sauce we have supplegen we have our grace pumpkin soup in the back and then we have some you know something for the sweet tooth some shirley biscuit in the coconut and a plain flavor now we're just adding those in just to create a simple taste explosion of the island of jamaica yeah, we just thought it would be nice just to share a, a little part of our culture with our neighbors, you know, who have been so, so, so warm and welcoming and kind to us ever since we moved. So, yeah, this is just our little way of, you know, putting a personal touch on a gift and at the same time helping them to explore our culture a bit. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I bought the the actual plastic gift wrap from Walmart also. It comes with two in the pack. And this is just to wrap the basket so it gives it, you know, an authentic basket vibe, <laughs> right? So yeah, this is what it looks like. And it comes with two ribbons. This is the green they have white and they have red well they didn't have red i wanted red but they had purple for some reason but this plastic basket covering is a huge guys like literally i feel like it could fit me in there if i tried to roll myself up in a ball it's so huge so i'm gonna have to get creative a bit this is how big it is super huge like literally almost my body size my body height all right so i'm going to have to kind of tuck one end of the plastic wrap inside of itself to make it a little bit smaller to give it a more narrow um size so that the basket when i put the basket in inside of the plastic it is not appearing to be swallowed by it so i'm just trying to create something that would give it a, the illusion as if it is the correct size even though it's not all right so i'm gonna carefully try to lift this without disturbing the the arrangement and just place it inside of the plastic like such carefully of course And then you pretty much want to just gather the plastic at the top of the items giving it a little bit of give give or giving it a little bit of room so we're gathering the plastic together Yeah, you notice I'm leaving a little bit of space because you want to leave room to, you know, make that nice bow and let the thing look 
official, right? Official, we say. All right, so with one of those um, twine twine strap thingies, I'm gonna take that and wrap it around to secure it so that I can work with the bow and have that secured. Yeah, and I'm just taking a, a couple pieces of the the shredded the foil shred or the shredded foil and just tying it around just for reinforcement one and just to add a little bit more pizzazz to the basket. Yeah. Alright, so you can see how tall <laughs> the extra plastic is. And that definitely is not proportionate to the size of the basket so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cut work cut it down a bit so that it you know gets to a more realistic size all right so I just cut off um, the amount that is necessary to make it more proportionate to the, the basket and now I'm gonna try to work with the ribbon the ribbon is made in such a way that you just have to pull that um, string in the center and once you pull it it should form the bow but I don't know if I was too strong or what the issue was but the thing actually broke <laughs> no it broke it literally broke so one of the bows got destroyed I don't know what's gonna happen but we'll figure it out so I'm gonna go ahead and just use the next one for now and try to do, be more gentle and voila yeah that's that's it that's how it's supposed to be Okay, and yeah. The final step is just to tie the bow around the, the plastic to give it that nice gift basket look. And I think anything looks better with a bow, trust me. If you have a paper bag and you put a bow on it, all of a sudden it just becomes something awesome. Alright, so I'm tying the bow at the back. And of course, I quickly realized that the bow was too long. Well, the extra, the extra string in the back, it was too long. So, I, of course, I have to go ahead and cut that too in order to make it workable based on the size of the basket that I'm making I'm gonna cut it off yeah and then go ahead and do my little fancy schmancy twirling mm -hmm. Do the same with the other one. Yeah, and pretty much that is it, you guys. As simple as that. Um, the basket is complete and if you guys have a smaller plastic wrap it would have been easier you wouldn't have to go through all of the challenge for you know trying to make it smaller by tucking it and cutting it and all of that stuff but yeah I think it turned out pretty pretty nice yes 
considering so yeah these are our DIY holiday gift baskets on a budget and that's it for today you guys thank you so so much for watching vlogmas day 18 and remember to like rate subscribe comment and pray bless you and be safe and i will talk to you tomorrow in my next one where we do vlogmas day 19 peace out and much love